Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Gun Time. This is Andrea, and today's video I'm going to teach you how to get good gear in Eadventure. So, and I'm going to actually play the game while I'm giving you these tips, and hopefully it goes okay and I don't um, stutter my way through it. Um, anyway, so first, grind a bit. Uh, the game goes slow at the beginning, but then it speeds up as you get better parts. Okay, so as you see, look at that, how fast I got through that first one. Very, very fast, right? Didn't need to uh, upgrade anything other than the the main the main food thing. I didn't need to use any of the upgrades or get any other help from anybody. Okay, so second, just going to upgrade, open all of these. Second, upgrade lower gear to a point, and I'll explain that in just a minute. Don't waste your gear. So when you come in here and you look at these, these lower gears, so originally all of my you know, all my gear was, was like epics or rares. And I upgraded those quite a bit when I first started out and that's fine. And upgrading epic and rare, all of that, that is totally okay. Even, even the really low ones like these, it, it doesn't matter. It's okay if you upgrade those at the very beginning, just once parts start coming in more quickly, you're going to want to hold on to them. Two of every epic. So two of every epic, obviously I don't have a lot of those. Oh, look, I've got extras there and three of every rare. The reason for that is these legendary ones require three of all the rare and two epic and the ultimate require a bunch of epic, two epic and, and three rare plus um, the um, legendary. So upgrade um, to keep two of every epic, sorry, three of every unique, keep all of your legendary and all of your ultimate gear. As you can see, I'm wearing my legendary Irish hat and I've got this dude here, which is way better upgraded, but... Um, I had overkill like this, this part right here was giving me, um, a 40% chance to food, pre um, prepare food instantly. And this part gave me the 50% chance to make perfect food. So now I've got hundred percent chance to make perfect food, food and 180% chance to prepare food instantly. Plus I've also got the all walkers, although all workers walk faster, which is pretty great. Anyway, let's see if we can come in here and spend some of the money I just gathered. Okay. So third. Follow the tips in my previous video. If you have not watched that, um, go watch it. But in short, um, and I'm not going to share all of them here, just the ones that are applicable. Um, you're going to want to focus on the vault and gems from the investor in the beginning. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the vault, gems from the investor. You're going to come in here and you're going to offer, I mean, you're going to ask for a higher chance of the investor to give you gems instead of money. And then you're only going to spend, once you get to that point, so you're only going to spend your gems on the vault and on the investor and you're going to watch all those ads. You're going to get a whole bunch of money from, or just a whole bunch of gems from the investor. And then let's see, we're going to actually come in here and give him some customers because um, customers make money faster for us. And hold on a second. Let me get this taken care of. Anyway, okay, so like I said, follow the tips in your earlier video, focus on the vault, focus on getting gems from the investor, and then only spend gems on event boxes. And what I'm talking about event boxes are these. So the mine event is going on right now. The event boxes give you a really good chance to get those upper parts that you don't get from lower boxes. So only spend money on event boxes. I got to the point where I was only spending on money on big boxes, never on the small boxes, gems or whatever, but now I'm only spending them on event boxes. Okay. So my next tip is upgrade stations from the bottom up. And I'm going to show you what I mean about that here in just a bit. So first off, we got to come in here and get some stuff moving along. Give us another customer. We'll get another waiter too. It doesn't really matter at this point because he's not competing with my main guy here who is, you know, giving me perfect and instant stuff constantly, which is, you know, quite awesome. Let's see, customer, customer, um, produce, you know, yes, there we go. Okay. Produce. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. So what I mean by when I say upgrade stations from the bottom up, they give you more money faster. So, and it is kind of like an exponential thing. So I've spent all my money here. And it makes it so that uh, I get money faster so that I can spend more money, right? It just helps you get through the levels much faster than if you start at the very bottom and work your way down. Anyway, so these upper stations don't give you hardly any money and you won't advance hardly at all if you're spending all of your money upgrading them instead of upgrading the bottom ones first. So I always upgrade the bottom ones first. I usually follow a system when I'm doing it with the really long... Um, events, you know, the, like the, the 250 versus the actual events, the 250 stores. And by that, I mean the ones that you have to go up to 250 before you can advance to the next stage. 
Okay, so let me show you that in just a bit here. We're just gonna upgrade these here. Anyway, so fifth, focus on the events unless they'll take you the full three days to accomplish, in which case just do the first few accomplishments and focus on the main game until you can chew away at the event more quickly. So you come in here and, and I did all of this in probably two hours, maybe an hour and a half. And the, the last event, it took me the full three days to get it done. That was a waste of time. If it's taking you, <coughs> sorry about that. If it's taking you three days to do the event, you're better spent, your, your time is better spent focusing on the main game than on the event because the event doesn't give you a whole ton of rewards that you would get, that you can't get from just playing the main game. So in the beginning, just focus on, you can do a little bit of the event, but then focus mostly on the main game. Unless you, you have unlimited time and I don't have unlimited time. If you have unlimited time, then you just do whatever, you know, makes you happy because that's going to be whatever gets you through the game fastest. Okay. So that's the fifth one. And then let me go. We're actually going to come in here and enter this last. And this is something that the game makers are going to hate me to say. Don't watch ads in, anymore. Um, I'm not unlike, you know, the ads from the investor. Don't watch them anymore because once you get to the point, uh, other than the, the, the boosts here at the bottom, which I'm not going to tap, but you'll get to the point where um, it's faster to just play the game to get the money and gems. And by watching the ads, you're actually stealing from yourself. And I, I figured that out after like my the last event where I was watching a whole bunch of games and um, or watching, sorry, watching a whole bunch of ads and it just wasn't adding up financially. I was stealing from myself, basically. I was getting more money by... Um, by playing the actual game than I was by watching the ads. So you're just going to get to the point where watching ads is not beneficial. I mean, maybe you can spend a whole bunch of gems and get these, you know, get your, uh, your vault to give you, to make it so it's more beneficial. But I just, I, to me, it's just not worth it. I make more money and get more gems by playing the game than I do by, um, than watching the ads. Anyway, so that's pre pretty much it. And then I just want to show you how the mine event is going, uh, for me. Um, I'm just, you know, I've got it mostly taken care of here. I just got to upgrade le Obsidian to level 600. Like I said, I'm upgrading from the bottom up. And what I usually do is I will, um, you know, I will try to space out the upgrades so that I am, you know, each, each station gets a fair amount before I move on. Other times I will actually follow my main guy around, Mr. Hat there, and upgrade what he is hitting because, you know, that makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something in life. Anyway... But I do prefer upgrading from the bottom up because it does give you more money in the long run, which, you know, we want more money, right? Everybody wants more money. And perfect food, by the way, gives you way more money than pretty much anything else. Like it gives you more money than advanced profits. Um, anyway, so um, getting perfect almost always is more valuable than getting better profit because the perfect almost always is better than the profit would be. Did I already do that one? I don't think I did this one. I don't remember where I was. That's the problem with, with uh, my brain right now. Anyway, so I hope this is helpful. Um, the next game I'm going to try is called um, Kingdom Maker, I believe. And um, if you play that one already, let me know below. If you've ever tried eVenture, also let me know. If this video is helpful, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for future tips. Comment below if you would like to know anything, if you have any questions, or if you'd like me to research something and figure out how to do it better. And that's pretty much it. I will talk to you all later. Bye.